The relief effort in Scotland is continuing to help those affected by the powerful earthquakes which devastated parts of Turkey and Syria. 11,000 people have died, a toll which continues to rise as search and rescue teams desperately look for survivors beneath tons of rubble. Brandon Cook visited Aberdeen's Turkish centre, who started collecting essentials for those affected. Thousands of miles from the destruction of Monday's earthquake, Turkish communities across Scotland are uniting. Cities, towns and villages have been raised to the ground. The death toll is mounting and the clock is ticking for rescuers to find people beneath the rubble alive. Families in some badly hit areas have said the slow speed of rescue efforts means they have had no help digging to find relatives. The UK has sent specialist teams across to help, including four Scottish firefighters last night. Survivors now face homelessness in bitter conditions and an evolving humanitarian crisis. Hey, uh, good afternoon. Aberdeen's Turkish Centre started accepting donations this morning. They plan to send a van load of essentials across to the affected areas later this week. We can support here as much as we can. You know, I, mean, I know it's not big things we can do, but it's clothes, blankets, heat blanket, those things we can more child and uh, things, things we can more support. They join a growing list of UK charities launching appeals to help those affected. Organisers here know supplies may end up helping someone they know. My, uh, my mother's brother lives in the uncle, uh, my uncle lives in the Gaziantep. I think they are okay halfways, but I think their houses are collapsed. I try to phone them, they say they're fine, but houses are all uh, cracked. They cannot go in inside. More than 11,000 people across southern Turkey and northern Syria are now known to have lost their lives. Millions are caught up in its devastation. Scott Alison Bain is stuck in Adana, where she was visiting friends. It was terrifying, but I think to myself, the worse off than me, and I thank God I'm still alive, you know. Could have been worse. But um, my friends, as I said, I was supposed to go and visit them, Hattie, but they have no house whatsoever. Damaged roads are making a difficult situation even more challenging. But communities here are determined to help in any way they can. Branton Cook, STV News.